Dino Zofgrand Ufficiale Omri is an Italian former professional footballer who played as a goalkeeper. He is the oldest ever winner of the World Cup, which he earned as captain of the Italian national team in the 1982 tournament, at the age of 40 years, 4 months and 13 days. He also won the award for best goalkeeper of the tournament and was elected to the team of the tournament for his performances, keeping two clean sheets, an honour he also received after winning the 1968 European Championship on home soil. Zoff is the only Italian player to have won both the World Cup and the European Championship. He also achieved great club success with Juventus, winning six Serie A titles, two Coppa Italia titles and a UEFA Cup, also reaching two European Champions Cup finals in the 1972-73 and 1982-83 seasons. As well as finishing second in the 1973 Intercontinental Cup final. Zoff was a goalkeeper of outstanding ability and he has a place in the history of the sport among the very best in this role, being named the third greatest goalkeeper of the 20th century by the ifs behind Lev Yashin and Gordon Banks. He holds the record for the longest playing time without allowing goals in international tournaments set between 1972 and 1974. With 112 caps, he is the sixth most capped player for the Italy national team. In 2004, Pele named Zoff as one of the 100 greatest living footballers. In the same year, Zoff placed fifth in the UEFA Golden Jubilee poll, and was elected as Italy's golden player of the past 50 years. He also placed second in the 1973 Ballon d'Or, as he narrowly missed out on a trouble with Juventus. In 1999, Zoff placed 47th in World Soccer Magazine's 100 Greatest Players of the 20th Century. After retiring as a footballer, Zoff went on to pursue a managerial career, coaching the Italian national team, with which he reached the Euro 2000 final losing to Team France, and several Italian club teams. Including his former club Juventus, with which he won an UEFA Cup and a Coppa Italia double during the 1989-90 season, trophies he had also won as a player. In September 2014, Zoff published his Italian autobiography Dura Solo on Adimo, La Gloria. Dino Zoff was born in Mariano del Friuli, Friuli Venezia Giulia, Italy into a farming family. Upon his father's suggestion, Zoff initially also pursued studies to be a mechanic in case his football career proved to be unsuccessful. As a young aspiring footballer, Zoff was also interested in other sports, and his two main role models were the cyclist Fausto Coppi, and the race walker Abdin Pamike. Zoff with Napoli in January 1970, beside Antonio Giuliano and Kurt Humreen at Schiphol for the match of Inter City's Fairs Cup vs Ajax Amsterdam. Zoff's career got off to an inauspicious start, when at the age of 14 he had trials with Inter Milan in Juventus, but was rejected due to a lack of height. Five years later, having grown by 33 centimeters, he made his Serie A debut with Udinese on September 24, 1961. In a 5-2 defeat to Fiorentina, although Zoff was not criticized for any of the goals he conceded. Zoff made only four appearances in his first season for Udinese, as they were relegated to Serie B. He played the next season as the club's starting goalkeeper helping the club to Serie A promotion, before moving to Montova in 1963, where he spent four seasons, making 131 appearances. His performances for Montova in the top flight caught the attention of larger clubs, while Italy's national coach at the time, Edmondo Fabri, even considered bringing him as a backup for the 1966 FIFA World Cup. Although he ultimately chose to bring Enrico Albertosi, Roberto Anzolan, and Pierre Luigi Pizzabella instead. In 1967, Zoff was transferred to Napoli, in exchange for fellow goalkeeper Claudio Bandoni, and a transfer fee of 130 million lira, he spent five seasons in Naples, making 143 Serie A appearances with the club. During this time, he began to achieve increasing recognition in Italy, also making his international debut with the Italian national side in 1968, and earning a place in Italy's squads at Euro 68 in the 1970 World Cup. Following his achievements with the national side, and due to his performances during his time with Napoli, Zoff was signed by Juventus in 1972, at the age of 30, where he resumed his success. In 11 years with Juventus, Zoff won the Serie A championship six times, the Coppa Italia twice and the UEFA Cup once, also reaching two European Cup finals. Another semi-final in 1978. And the semi-finals of the European Cup Winners' Cup during the 1979-80 season. In 1973, he placed second in the Ballon d'Or, following his Serie A title victory, also narrowly missing out on an historical trouble with Juventus, 
after reaching both the European Cup and the Coppa Italia finals that season. In which his club were defeated, however, Juventus also finished as runners-up in the 1973 Intercontinental Cup that year. In winning the 1977 UEFA Cup final against Athletic Bilbao, Zoff came out on top against his twin, the Basque goalkeeper José Ángel Irabar. Overall, Zoff made 479 appearances for Juventus in all competitions, making 330 Serie A appearances with the club, 74 in the Coppa Italia, 71 in European competitions, and 4 in other club competitions. He is currently Juventus's 6th record appearance holder in all competitions, their 7th all-time appearance holder in Serie A, their 3rd all-time appearance holder in the Coppa Italia, their 7th all-time appearance holder in UEFA club competitions, and their 9th all-time appearance holder in international club competitions. Zoff with Juventus in 1975, beside his substitute Massimo Poloni, on background, Fabio Capello. Zoff won his final Serie A championship with Juventus during the 1981-82 Serie A season, also winning the 1982 FIFA World Cup with Italy that year, as his team's captain. During the following 1982-83 season, the final season of his career, Dino Zoff won the Coppa Italia with defending Serie A champions Juventus. And he reached his second European Cup final with the club in 1983, Juventus were defeated 1-0 by Hamburg in Athens on 25th of May. After Zoff was beaten by Felix Magath's long-distance strike, this was the final match of his career. His final league appearance came in a 4-2 home win over Genoa on May 15, 1983. Upon retirement, Zoff held the records for the oldest Serie A player, at the age of 41, and the most Serie A appearances for more than 20 years. Until the 2005-06 season, when the records were broken by Lazio goalkeeper Marco Bellotta, and AC Milan defender Paolo Maldini respectively. Behind only former AC Milan goalkeeper Sebastiano Rossi, who overtook him during the 1993-94 season, Zoff has conceded the fewest goals in a single Serie A season. Behind only John Luigi Buffon and Sebastiano Rossi, he has also gone the most time unbeaten in Serie A without conceding a goal. Producing a 903-minute unbeaten streak during the 1972-73 season, a record that stood until Rossi overtook him in the 1993-94 season, Buffon broke the record during the 2015-16 season. He also held the Serie A record for most consecutive clean sheets alongside Rossi, until John Luigi Buffon overtook them both with his 10th consecutive clean sheet in 2016. With 570 Serie A appearances, Zoff is also the 6th highest appearance holder in Serie A of all time and he is the fourth oldest player in Serie A to have ever played a match. He holds the record for most consecutive matches played in Serie A, a streak which went unbroken from May 21, 1972, until his final league appearance with Juventus in 1983. At 41 years and 86 days, Zoff is also the oldest player to have appeared in a European Cup or UEFA Champions League final. Prior to representing the senior Italian side, Zoff had won a gold medal with the Italy under-23 side at the 1963 Mediterranean Games. On April 20, 1968, Zoff made his senior debut for Italy, playing in a 2-0 win against Bulgaria in the quarter-finals of the 1968 European Championships, in Naples. Zoff ended up being promoted to starting goalkeeper over his perceived career rival Enrico Albertosi during the tournament, and Italy proceeded to win the European Championship on home soil. With Zoff taking home a winner's medal after only his fourth international appearance, keeping two clean sheets, and winning the award for the best goalkeeper of the tournament. Zoff was left out of the Italian starting 11 in the 1970 World Cup, however, and was Albertosi's deputy throughout the tournament, as Italy went on to reach the final of the World Cup, and was defeated 4-1 by Brazil. He returned to the starting lineup, however, ahead of Albertosi, in Italy's disappointing 1974 World Cup campaign during which they would be eliminated in the first round. Franco Casio, the Italian president Sandro Pertini, Zoff and the coach Enzo Berzo on their return from Spain with the 1982 World Cup they just won. From 1972 onwards, Zoff became Italy's undisputed number one, and he participated in the 1978 World Cup with Italy, during which he managed a fourth-place finish, keeping three clean sheets. Italy were eliminated in the semi-final, and a 2-1 loss to the Netherlands. After the match, Zoff was criticized for making a fairly uncommon error, as he was beaten by a strike from distance by Ari Hahn. Zoff was also Italy's starting goalkeeper once again at the 1980 European Championships on home soil, however, helping his side to reach the semi-finals, finishing the tournament in fourth place once again. 
During the 1980 European Championship, Zoff kept three clean sheets, only conceding one goal in the bronze medal match, which Italy would lose on penalties. Zoff was elected as the goalkeeper of the tournament once again. An honor he had previously managed after winning the tournament in 1968. Throughout these two tournaments, Zoff established a record for most consecutive minutes unbeaten in a European Championship, which was later beaten by Iker Casillas in 2012. Zoff had also established the record for most minutes unbeaten European Championship qualifying, which was also beaten by compatriot Buffon in 2011. He still holds the record, however, for most consecutive minutes without conceding a goal at the European Championships including qualifying, having kept eight consecutive clean sheets between 1975 and 1980, while going unbeaten for 784 minutes. Alongside Casillas, Buffon, and Thomas Meyer, he is the goalkeeper with the fewest goals conceded in a single edition of the European Championships. Having conceded only one goal in the 1968 European Championships, of these players, only Zoff and Casillas won the title while achieving this feat. Zoff's greatest accomplishment, however, came in the 1982 World Cup in Spain, where he captained Italy to victory in the tournament at the age of 40, making him the oldest ever winner of the World Cup. Throughout the tournament, he kept two clean sheets and produced a crucial goal line save in the final minutes of the last second round group match against favourites Brazil on 5 July, which enabled the Italians to earn a 3-2 victory and advance to the semi-finals of the competition. On 11 July, at the age of 40 years and 133 days, he became the oldest player ever to feature in a World Cup final, following Italy's 3-1 victory over West Germany at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid, he followed in the footsteps. Of compatriot John Piero Combi is only the second goalkeeper to captain a World Cup winning side. Due to his performances, he was voted as the best goalkeeper of the tournament. Regarding Zoff's importance during Italy's victorious World Cup campaign, his manager Enzo Berzo said of him, he was a level-headed goalkeeper, capable of staying calm during the toughest and the most exhilarating moments. He always held back both out of modesty and respect for his opponents. At the end of the Brazil match, he came over to give me a kiss on the cheek without saying a single word. For me, that fleeting moment was the most intense of the entire World Cup. During the flight of return from Spain on a DC-9 airplane, Zoff, Pertini, the Italian President of Republic, Casio and Berzo were immortalized in a photo, suddenly gone highly popular, while playing card at Scapone Scientifico, an Italian social and team sport. In the previous years, the same aircraft had been used by Pertini and Voitilla for private and institutional flights. In April 2017, it was put down back in the Museum of Volandia, near Varese. Zoff also holds the record for the longest stretch without allowing any goals in international football, set between 1972 and 1974. That clean sheet stretch was ended by Haitian player Mano Sanon's beautiful goal during the 1974 World Cup. Zoff made his final appearance for Italy on May 29, 1983, in a 2-0 away loss to Sweden, in a Euro 1984 qualifying match. At the time of his retirement, Zoff's 112 caps were the most ever by a member of the Italian national team. He currently sits in sixth place in this category, as well as second among goalkeepers, with Gianluigi Buffon having surpassed the latter record. Zoff in training with Juventus, c. January 1973. Zoff was a traditional, effective, and experienced goalkeeper, who usually favored efficiency and caution over flamboyance and making saves. Although he was also capable of producing spectacular dives and decisive saves when necessary due to his strength and athleticism. He was particularly regarded for his outstanding positioning and handling of the ball, in particular when coming out to collect crosses, as well as his concentration. Consistency, calm mindset, and composure under pressure, he was also an elegant player, who possessed good reactions and excellent shot-stopping abilities. Zoff was also noted for his attention to detail during matches, as well as his ability to read the game, anticipate his opponents, communicate with his defenders, and organize his back line, which also enabled him to start attacking plays quickly from the back after claiming the ball. Despite his serious and reserved character, Zoff also drew praise for his leadership skills, correct behavior, and competitive spirit, which led him to serve as captain of his national side, and enabled him to inspire a sense of calmness and confidence in his teammates. On occasion, However, Zoff was accused by certain pundits of occasionally struggling when facing long-range shots, and for not always being particularly adept at stopping penalties. Known for his work rate in training, 
dedication, and discipline as a footballer, in addition to his goalkeeping skills, Zoff also stood out for his stamina, longevity, and determination, which enabled him to avoid injuries and have an extensive and highly successful career, due to his constant desire to improve himself. He was able to maintain a consistent level of performance throughout his entire career, even with his advancing age towards the end of his career, into his late 30s and early 40s. Considered one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, in 1999 he was elected in a poll by the IFS as the third best goalkeeper of the 20th century, after Lev Yashin and Gordon Banks, as well as Italy's best keeper of the century. And the second best European keeper of the century, behind only Yashin. After his retirement as a player, Zoff went into coaching, joining the technical staff at Juventus, initially as a goalkeeping coach, although this experience proved to be unsatisfactory for him. He subsequently coached the Italian Olympic side, his first experience as a coach, helping the team to qualify for the 1988 Summer Olympic Games in Seoul. Before returning to Juventus in a coaching role, the Italian Olympic side eventually managed a fourth-place finish in the final tournament. Zoff served as Juventus's head coach from 1988 to 1990. In 1990, he was sacked, however, despite winning the UEFA Cup and the Coppa Italia during the 1989-90 season, while also helping the club to a third-place finish in the league. He then joined Lazio, where he became the coach in 1994, and later the club's sporting director, winning the Coppa Italia in 1998, and helping the club to an UEFA Cup final the same season, and was defeated by compatriots in Tur. In 1998, Zoff was appointed as the head coach of the Italian national team. Although Italy were still cautious and organized defensively, Zoff used a more open, fluid, and attacking style of play than that used by his more defensive Italian coaching predecessors Cesar Maldini and Arrigo Sacchi. Zoff helped the team to qualify for Euro 2000, and he introduced several younger players to the team, such as Francesco Totti, Gianluca Zambrata, Stefano Fiore, Massimo Ambrosini, Christian Abbiati, Marco Del Vecchio, and Vincenzo Montella. Although Italy were not top favourites because of a young squad, he coached a young Italy squad to a second-place finish in Euro 2000, suffering a 2-1 extra time defeat at the hands of reigning World Cup champions France in the final. Due to a golden goal by David Trezier. En route to the final, a 10-man Italy had eliminated co-hosts the Netherlands in the semi-finals in a penalty shootout, after a 0-0 draw, following extra time, with a tightly contested defensive display against a more offensive-minded Dutch side. In the final of the tournament, Italy had been 1-0 up for most of the second half, and were less than 60 seconds away from winning the tournament. Before France forward Sylvain Wiltord scored in the fourth and final minute of stoppage time to equalise, and send the match into extra time. Despite reaching the final, Zoff resigned a few days later, following strong criticism from AC Milan president and politician Silvio Berlusconi. Zoff was voted the World Soccer Manager of the Year in 2000. Zoff returned to defending Serie A, Coppa Italia, and Supercoppa Italiana champions Lazio as a manager for the next season, replacing Sven Joran Eriksson in 2001. And finishing third in Serie A. The following season, he resigned on 20th of September, after only the third match, due to a poor start to the 2001-02 season. In 2005, he was named the coach of Fiorentina as a replacement for Sergio Busso. Despite saving the team from relegation on the last day of the season, Zoff was let go. As a manager, Zoff was known for his use of tactics based upon the Zona Mista system, which was a cross between the Catenaccio man marking and zonal marking systems. Although he was initially known for fielding a 4-4-2 formation, at Euro 2000, he used a 5-2-1-2 system with Italy. His teams often used a sweeper, who, in addition to his defensive duties and organizational responsibilities, was also required to start plays from the back. He preferred not to base his team's play on set plays and formations, as he believed that cultivating a good relationship with his players and fostering a winning team mentality were the keys to getting the best out of them. And that this would also allow their natural creativity to come through in matches. Zoff is married to Anna Maria Passerini, they have a son, Marco, born in 1967. Zoff is Roman Catholic. On November 28, 2015, it was reported Zoff was hospitalized for three weeks with a viral neurological infection which made it difficult for him to walk. On December 23, 2015, it was reported Zoff had been recovering well, however stating, for the first time in my life, I was actually afraid. When I say scared, I wasn't afraid for myself, but for those around me. My wife. My son, my grandchildren. My tribe, 
basically. I would have really hurt them by leaving. He also revealed, one night I saw two figures at the end of my bed. They had the faces of Gaetano Siria, one of his former deceased teammates, and Enzo Berzo, one of his former deceased coaches. They were both smiling. I wasn't asleep, it wasn't a dream. I told them, not yet, not now. And I am still here. Juventus Italy Juventus player manager. Thanks for watching.